Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. Jackie here. Welcome to all my new subbies and my old time subscribers. I love working with wire. It is so easy to hang things with that. I like the jute and the different strings too, but I love the wire. And with these cardboard boxes, or these pictures that are made out of cardboard basically, it's very easy to use the wire. Get you some good wire snips. And baling wire you can pick up anywhere, any hardware store. You can get a roll for pretty cheap. I'm just twisting the top. And I used uh, those pointed tools. I used those in jewelry making. And I thought they'd be good to poke through there, and they were. If you have an old ice pick or can find an ice pick, that would be perfect for doing that. Otherwise, maybe a long nail would be very good for doing it. So make your wire long enough. Uh, the dowel helps to really make some cute curls on it. I'm making a couple of little loops in it. I'll just poke it in the holes and adjust it to whatever height I want it to be. And adjust the loops so they go the same way. You can wire it underneath there or you can bend it. Okay, the next one. I'm grabbing my dowel. You could use a pencil or a pen or anything. Something bigger if you want the loops bigger. And just curl your wire around it. These are a little longer, so I'm going back in. Excuse me. You can stretch it out or leave it as tight as you want to. I'm stretching it out a little bit. Sticking it in my holes. These light signs are so lightweight, you don't need to put anything really extra to hold, hold them up. I just pressed it down towards the side. All right, and there's my second sign. You can see this sign has a hanger on the back, but I want to put the wire on it. Okay, using my dowel again.
don't do it too many times or it'll get hot and break. You can do as many loops up the wire as you want. When you take it to see where you want to hang it, you can always shorten it if you need to. I'm sure my laundry room where I'm hanging the one laundry sign. This is uh, called the Gorilla Hook. All you have to do is wiggle it a little bit. I kind of put it upside down. Wiggle it a little bit to make a hole in the drywall. And as it gets in there, then you just spin it around to where the U is facing up and put it in. And it's got a little hook on the end. Uh, this one is for hanging lightweight things, but they do come in heavyweight things. You can get them at Walmart. I love them because they're just so easy to use and they don't mark up your walls. So a little bit of look at my laundry room to see how I hung it. Showing you my wall that I put the press on. I got this uh, shelf from... LTD Limited. I did a haul on it. And down showing you my washer. Because sometimes I feel like that's all I do is laundry. Okay, and the last one. This wire is a little bit shorter, so I'm going to put it in the top instead of the sides. Okay. 
I'm going to mark off on the sides how, how I want it. I'm trying to get it so you can see what I'm doing. Going in about a half an inch. And keep your eye out Sunday. I'm going to be doing a collab with some very talented ladies. And it's about using bottles. Okay, I painted some beads with the Waverly Chalk Pink. I used eight, or no, I used 16, four on, eight on each side. Uh, yeah, I can add. Just used a skewer, put them on the skewer, put them on a piece of foam, painted them. I didn't figure you'd really want to watch me doing that. Boring. I haven't hung up any of these pictures yet, so later on when I do, we'll put a pic, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a picture on my Instagram. Okay, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, like I said, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. See you later. Bye.